we've already had a reduction of over £130 million. That's 46% less from central government. And over the next three years, we'll lose the rest. In three years' time, we'll get nothing from government. This is grossly unfair, what's happening from central government. I get letters every day telling me you know, that the council is charging for things that we didn't charge for in the past and that we're putting council tax up as well. Um, and in effect, they're telling me that they're paying more for less. And the only thing I can do is agree with them. And the reason is because we have lost £800 per household in grant from central government. The government is forcing us to pay for things, although they give us more and more statutory responsibilities. They load us with social care responsibilities, but they're just not giving us the resources to do it. We're putting up council tax because, frankly, we need to produce a balanced budget and the demands of the most vulnerable people in our communities, uh, elderly people coming at the system, more and more looked after children as a consequence of welfare reform. If we don't put up council tax, we wouldn't be able to provide those vital, essential services to the most vulnerable people in Gateshead and provide the other services, refuse collection, street lighting, street cleansing, uh, ground maintenance, um, even though those services have been enormously reduced, we still need to put up council tax to fill the gap in terms of the loss of funding we've received from central government. People need to recognise that Gateshead Council unfortunately can't provide all of the services that we did three and four and five years ago. So we're going to need people to help themselves. You know, some of the community centres, libraries and other facilities which in the past the council was able to operate and support, we're going to need people to step forward and do things for themselves. We'll help, we'll provide what support we can, but ultimately we're going to lose these facilities unless people step forward and help themselves as well. I didn't become a councillor to serve for 30 years to develop those services, to have to close libraries, to reduce services, to reduce ground maintenance, to reduce winter maintenance on roads. I didn't become a councillor to do those things. You know, we don't want to be a minimalist council. We don't want to be providing minimal services, struggling to, to meet statutory requirements. We're an ambitious council with, you know, really talented people who work for us, who I know are able to respond to that challenge. So, you know, we have a strategy which is about growing the budget so we can secure a more prosperous future. We are determined that we're going to be a strong, ambitious council and that we're going to preserve the, the services that we provide, even if they have to be provided in a different way.